Some of the things I remember about Dr. Greer were um, incidences that he related to me about his early life. He grew up on a, a small farm in central Georgia. And he said that one of his farm chores was helping to pick cotton every fall. And he was, got sick of picking cotton, so he decided that he wanted to improve his station in life by getting a better education uh, so he wouldn't have to pick cotton. Dr. Greer, who had been a member of the faculty here at Alcorn for several years, decided that he needed to come back and work on a doctorate also. I didn't think that that, that was even a possibility, but I took that chance. When I had been accepted in the summer of 1968, there was a climate of unrest. You, it, you felt like you coming, when I was coming to Mississippi State, I kind of felt like I was just doing something wrong. <laughs> That's the way I felt. <laughs> but, but I was glad to be doing it. So I was driving my Mustang down Highway 12, coming into Starkville, and there was a car started following me behind me. And I said, oh my goodness, this is it. And I kind of sped up, and I said, I'm gonna, if I can make it to where some other folks are, he won't get me. So I made my way to uh, the uh, Alma Science Building, and I said, I'm gonna pull in here, and I know he won't get me. And so when I pulled in there and stopped, he got out too, the one that was spotted. He said, your tire is about flat. And I'm going to And he got out and fixed the tire. And from then on, the best part of my life I experienced. Dr. Greer is an outstanding individual, and when I reflect on when he uh, came to Mississippi State to be a, a graduate student to pursue his PhD in our College of Agricultural and Life Sciences, uh, things were a lot different then than they are today. For example, in the, in the early 1970s, uh, we had less than 9,000 students here at Mississippi State. Uh, today we have more than 20,000 students. Uh, the number of African American students on our campus around 1970 was just over 2% of our student population. Uh, today <clears throat> we have more than 20% of our undergraduates are African American. And in fact, when I reflect on the freshman class for this academic year, uh, we had about 26% of this incoming freshman class were African Americans. And when you look at the student body as a whole, around 30% or more of our total students are minority students. So things have changed considerably than when Dr. Greer was a student here. At the time that Dr. Greer worked at Alcorn State University, we were going through a period of transition. We were at the point where we initially started receiving a modest amount of dollars to conduct agricultural research. And he was a pioneer during that time of our emphasis stage of, of, of doing agricultural research here at the university. I don't think I ever remember Dr. Greer saying a harsh word about anybody. Uh, he was not a complainer. Uh, he would try to treat everybody fairly, and uh, I hope that he was also treated fairly in return. Uh, I think Dr. Greer's uh, legacy is uh, being one of those scientists that help build what we have today here at Alcorn, particularly on the research side. I think he was a trailblazer. I think uh, he, him coming here helped encourage other young students of color to want to come to Mississippi State to take advantage of our open, welcoming, and nurturing environment that we offer here to help young students of color to thrive here on our campus and to succeed and graduate and go off into the world and do well. 
like Dr. Greer has done. And we're very, very proud of him and all that he's accomplished in his very distinguished career. Know what he is you, you need to know. You've got to know that. <laughs> You've got to know. You've got to know there's no excuse. You've got to know what it is you need to know. I learned that in Mississippi State. And I learned to speak up and talk. <laughs>